With effect from 2015, local authorities are entitled to vary the rate. They have to advise us by September 14 if they want to vary the rate of tax. There is an assumption in all the forms that the rate holds for three years, like from 2013 to 2000. If I'm, that's just my general impression that the valuation holds until 2016. The valuation holds the rate in the legislation. Local authorities are entitled to vary the rate up or down by 15 per cent with effect from 15. And, if and in order to do that, they have to tell us by, I think it's September 14. <coughs> you might <coughs> clarify, explain this to me, because I haven't got this. Yeah. <coughs> so in the legislation, saying, yeah, So you're saying by September of next year, everyone thought they had the <coughs> values set from 2013 to 2016. So you're saying from September of next year, you can be on notice from local authorities of a 15% increase in... In the rate. Now, the rate is 0.18%. Yeah. Of t so... It, it's only zero, but it's not the, valu it's not the it's valuation. It's not the valuation of the house. So the person makes a self-assessment of yeah. the valuation today. Yeah. That holds for three and a half years. Yeah, well, okay, th this is a three-card trick now, not by you, but it's a three-card trick. So you're actually telling the people the valuation you set, and let's say somebody sets a value at the lowest value, and it's the 90 euro per annum, right? I understood, and I think everybody I've ever met understood, that that holds for three years. Just hear me, Joe. I've met no one who knew any different other than what you were saying now. Now what you seem to be saying is next September, next year, the revenue can say, well, you can hold your valuation of 100,000, but it's not now at the 0.18%, the, the it's 0.19%. It's very tiny. 1.9%. Yeah. They can increase that by 15%. No, we, we can't say it. Your local, no, the local authority, authority can. Your local uh, yeah, authority yeah, can local decide. Authority. Yeah, no, I understand that. And I mean, bear in mind that the government has decided that 80% of these funds are going back to the local authority yeah, in which okay. they're no, raised. I, I, I understand so that. So we're, we're just a collection agent at that point. No, we understand that. But definitely, there's been this is shock now to me. And maybe I just haven't seen this going on. But I understood, and everyone I spoke to understood, that the rate you set. We, we call it the value of the house. That no, it's the, not the value. The value of the, of the house is not changing. That's right. Correct. And the rules are not changing. And, but everyone assumed once the value of your house didn't change, what you would have to pay wouldn't change. But now you're telling me that's not the case, that the value of the house can remain the same, but the rate, the, the, the charge based on the valuation of the house can change if local authorities notify you in September of next year. And, it's in, in and that's in the legislation. Well, and it was also in the Thornhill report, if I'm not mistaken. 15%. 15 percent up or down. So local authorities can, by September of next year, tell you that the rate in their local authority, um, even though the house values will stay the same, but the rate applicable to the value can go up by 15 percent. So in effect, the amount the person has to pay can go up by 15 percent if you're notified by different local authorities. Or down. Or down, yeah. Uh, by the end of, or by September of next year. 